Okay, it is the day before moving day. We are watching Love Island. You read the US version, season two. And this is what my place looks like. I've put all this stuff on my bed because just, yeah. All of this needs to find a way to get into what is that and what is this. And now Netflix thinks I'm asleep, but no, I'm not asleep. I've just been binging. But yeah, let's get it. <laughs> One day before I moved to Seoul, I would show you my face, but that's not happening right now. So I'm done packing. And what is wild to me is that I moved to Korea with this big carrier and that smaller one, one. like it's it's a medium sized one and that's a big one. And with this backpack and that camera bag, okay, well, not this exact backpack, but a backpack like this and then that camera bag. And now I have two storage boxes on top of that, two of these huge boxes, two of those mini boxes, although to be fair, those that's like food the top one is food and the bottom one is like extra toiletries so it's not something that would i would always have i just for some reason had it and then all of this stuff also is mostly like this is toilet paper these are things that need to be transported in boxes so that they don't break and then that and that are all and that also all food like spices oils stuff like that and then that bag has just like other plastic bags in it because that's the person I am. And those are cleaning supplies. So don't judge me too badly. I don't actually have that much stuff because half of the stuff in a normal circumstance would not be here. Well, not in a normal circumstance, but just in a circumstance where I'm like leaving the country, for example, would not be here. But anyway, I am finally done and I've packed up this whole apartment. I ain't showing you too much because I want you to watch my <laughs> apartment. So, okay, bye bye the next day hi it's me again <laughs> it is currently i think it's like 20 to 7 in the morning i need to catch a bus to go to the train station to get the car that i rented because i decided to rent a car instead of using a moving company the price works out about the same um for me because i i don't know why guys i have a lot of stuff like i've only been here for two years i think i need to go into purge mode i thought i had purged before i started packing then i was like why do you have so much stuff Hmm. But anyways, um, today's moving day. I'm just going to have breakfast quick, maybe now or when I come back from getting the car because I have a little bit of time um, after getting the car. And I also need to film my apartment tour for you guys who are curious what epic housing is like. But yeah, let's have a good day, guys. I'm moving to Seoul. Finally, it feels strange. Like, I don't, <laughs> it doesn't feel real yet. Like, it hit me yesterday. I was just like, oh my gosh, you're moving to another city. That's wild. But anyway, let's go, go. Y'all, I did it. I packed this whole car. Every inch of this car is packed. Everything. Like, every nook and cranny of this car. is packed right now. Okay guys, let's get the show on the road. Me and my trusty Kia are gonna go to my new place. Goodbye my neighborhood. It's been great. Okay, so I have... Wow, I look crusty, but guys, your dead drive was so rough there were like car accidents construction crazy drivers you name it so like oh, i thought i don't know why this is open if they come down oh my gosh it's so dirty okay I, I just got to my new place and i love it i love it do not get me wrong at all guys look a sweat that's little sweat i'm disgusting but anyway I absolutely love my new place, except 
it is filthy like the floor and the walls are clean because they sweat not pimples sweat um, <laughs> The floor and the walls are clean because they like replaced the floor. It wasn't this kind of floor before. It was a wooden floor, but it wasn't like, it was planks um, that were kind of old. And the wallpaper was straight nasty when I came here. Like it was ripped and brown. Like this is what, ivory? It was like brown. Um, so they replaced those two things. And then they got me a new washing machine, which I wasn't expecting, which is fantastic. It's my new washing machine. My new washing machine um but it is filthy and the reason it's filthy is because koreans don't believe in cleaning a house before they leave but i clean my house in Chongju so nicely for the new teacher i'm just saying that if you don't clean your house before you move out of it that's just wow what do you wow but yeah i cleaned my house in Chongju so nicely and then i get here and it's just filthy so I have a lot of cleaning to do, but right now I have such a headache. I haven't eaten anything the whole day um, and I have a deadline. So what I'm going to do is because all of my stuff is in the car and I just put my deliveries inside here. I should count them actually to make sure that they're all here, but I think they are because there were so many outside. It's kind of embarrassing. Good thing my neighbors don't know who I am yet. I'm going to head to a cafe and get some work done because I have a deadline that I need to reach today and some stuff that I need to work on. So I'm gonna go do that and get like something in my system. Probably just something light because I don't wanna be there. Hmm. I'm probably, yeah, I'm probably just gonna get something light in my system and a coffee and then work on that. And then I'm gonna come back and start cleaning after I've reached my deadline so I don't have to worry about it anymore. I can just focus on cleaning. My mission is to just make this room sleepable by tonight and then tomorrow I'll make it livable. I'll start making it livable. But, um, yeah. Welcome to my crib, y'all. I live in Seoul now. <laughs> but yeah, I'm still gonna, I'm gonna film me going to the cafe. Um, I could take the car, but honestly driving in Seoul just gives me stress. So I'm gonna, I'm gonna walk. Luckily, my house is near like everything, so I'm just gonna go to a random cafe near my house. Also, I don't have internet yet, so if I need to work for the time being, I need to go somewhere, which is a bit frustrating. So I'm probably gonna sort out my internet tomorrow or on Saturday because I'm a procrastinator. Okay, let's go. <laughs> Many hours later. Like guys, look at all of like when am I? And then I also have boxes. Like it's just a lot, <laughs> but. Yeah, I'm gonna do a proper apartment tour, I think, later. I was gonna do an empty apartment tour, but it's so nasty that I just don't feel inclined to do that. So I'm gonna make this a cleaning vlog, and then I'll make an apartment tour when it's fully furnished and it looks nice. Okay, guys, just to highlight how much filth is happening here. First of all, let's just look at this washing machine. There's all of this going on here. I don't even know where to start with this kitchen area. It's so disgusting. Like, it, it means she was living in this, guys. I, I'm not, I'm trying, I'm really trying hard not to judge her, but it means she was living in this thought. I'm scared to open these without gloves on. I know <laughs> I'm being very dramatic, but at this point, I'm actually just, I'm not that much of a germaphobe, but I'm inclined to become one now. The fridge, there's all sorts of stuff stuck on the fridge. This is gross. This one is even grosser. Look at that. Um, and you can call a cleaning company to clean these places for you, but like I'm just gonna do it myself because I feel like even if a cleaning company comes, I'll wanna do it again. So I might as well just save the cash and do it myself. Um, and also, just there was actual food in there. There was like kimchi and watermelon, like really. And the kid, the bathroom, my goodness yeah it's not cute it's not cute at all huh we got a lot of cleaning to do okay so i got myself a little trolley there's a trolley and now we need to get all of that stuff on the trolley multiple times and up the elevator but yeah it's better than what i was carrying from the second floor earlier <laughs> 
Okay, so I've officially moved everything in. And now I need to clean under everything. So I wanted to actually clean first and then move my stuff in. But yeah, certain forces would not allow. I'm not going to explain. <laughs> Honestly, moving is too much work. Like, I worked today, guys. Do you know what work is? Do you know what it's to work to labor? <laughs> I'm joking. I'm being dramatic because I'm tired. But yeah. So I'm going to put together my vacuum. It is... It is... Um, like, you want to focus? You don't want to focus? It's 7.30. For those of you who don't read this time. I'm going to order jajangmyeon while I'm assembling my vacuum and then hopefully I can vacuum in these, this area because like cleaning yes I would like to sleep in a clean house but it's 7.30 already and I've had a really busy day and I'm very very tired so I'm gonna clean a little bit and not try to conquer the whole mountain tonight so my first attack is over here because I need to sleep somewhere so I'm gonna sleep over here although I don't think that's how my room is gonna be set up but we'll figure that out Anyway, so I'm gonna order jajangmyeon. Jajangmyeon is black bean, black bean noodles. The noodles aren't black bean, the sauce is. Or noodles with black bean sauce. I don't know what the English is, but anyway, jajangmyeon, and it's like kind of fake Korean Chinese. It's like what Koreans call Chinese food, but even Chinese people would be like, what is this? Um, I mean, they do have black bean noodles i've had them before in south africa so i don't know if that's like authentic chinese but very different regardless i digress for those of you who know what it is the reason why or those of you even those of you who don't i was just saying like maybe i'm explaining too much and then you're like oh, i know that <laughs> um but anyways so the reason i'm gonna have that is remember earlier i mentioned that my place is filthy because it's filth filthy so dirty Right now, yes, I'm sitting on the dirty floor, but the floor is new, so it's not as dirty as the rest of the house. Mm -hmm. And anyway, these clothes, I've been moving all sorts of items in there the whole day, so they're probably hella dirty anyway. Anyway, so the reason why Koreans don't clean the house before they move out of a place um, is because they believe that if you do that, you're gonna like... Like leaving the dirt behind leaves, leaves behind the bad spirits. Why you eat the jajangmyeon is because after this cleaning of that messiness, they believe that jajangmyeon, because it's such a greasy food, it like sucks up. I don't want to say sucks up, I don't know what word to use, but like all the dust that has entered your body kind of just sucks it up. So I'm gonna have jajangmyeon. I heard that from Ashley Choi, and she's like, well, actually, Choi, if you're pronouncing it properly, but Choi. Um, she's like one of my favorite YouTubers, and she did a whole series about adulting that inspired me to do one too. I'm not gonna call it that, but like basically moving my life type series. But anyway, this has been a five minute video about why I'm eating jajangmyeon for dinner. I'm sure you guys just find YouTube channel. <laughs> okay, anyway, so I'm gonna, I'm gonna order jajangmyeon. Jajangmyeon, cola, and old K drama. Oh, 
Okay, so it's just gonna explode on me. Okay. But sometimes, no matter how hard you try, Just the in front of me. The next day. Um, I could not even think about picking up my camera, I'm sorry. But um yeah. I still haven't this is the state of my apartment so late last night um so last night i did i took out the this bed and the mattress and then i um what you call it i cleaned the bathroom because i needed to be able to use my bathroom um so i cleaned it and it was it was gross it's still gross by my standards because like i couldn't get all the mold out um because there's a lot of mold in there and it's like it's like preventable mold like yeah you're gonna get mold but like if you just clean it quick enough it doesn't become a problem but now this person didn't clean it so basically what i got rid of which is still a lot i got rid of quite a lot of it it's probably whatever is recent and then before that it was just building up and building up and building up so now it's like just in there and it's really stubborn so i'm gonna have to wash the well do the bathroom again so what i did is yesterday i did that um, mold remover mold killer i used that then i also just used the bathroom cleaner and then i did some clorox bleach wiping as well and then today what i'm gonna do is i'm gonna do the whole baking soda and vinegar hack i don't have white vinegar you're supposed to use white vinegar i don't have any and when I went to the shops, it only had like a 2 liter of white vinegar. And I don't like vinegar like that. So I'm not going to buy a 2 liter of white vinegar, even if it's for cleaning purposes. So I'm going to use apple cider vinegar. And hope for the best. <laughs> um, so I'm going to go do the bathroom again. I'm finally going to tackle the kitchen. And then I'm just going to get this place in order today and the whole weekend. Okay, I've put a mask on to clean the kitchen. I'm gonna put some gloves on too. So, I'm going in. Okay, so this is before. Okay, so I've just ooh, okay. So I've just sprayed um well put poured baking powder apple cider vinegar and lemon multi-purpose spray over everything on the counter because it's the most disgusting and now I'm gonna do all the cabinets and the lower cabinet door thingies while I'm waiting and I'm gonna do the washing machine too I need to buy a washing machine cleaner I haven't bought that yet but I'm gonna do the outside guys it's raining it's raining this is my first Rainy day in my apartment. I know it's not anything yeah. special, but okay, I'm gonna make my table and my chair now. Okay, bye.